everyone, it's Sam with Lovely Scrappin' and I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show you how I created this um, faux metallic sort of a look using some foil tape. I had a lot of requests um, previously when I first made um, Miranda's um, altered box and I had used this and I had used like ripped pieces of it and then I created this and I had more requests. So um, I'm going to do just a quick tutorial you guys. It's super easy. A lot of you probably already know how to use, how to do this but um, because I had the requests I will do the tutorial. So um, the first thing you're going to need is just some foil tape. Again I get this from my dollar store in like the hardware section where they have packing tape, masking tape, duct tape, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's where I get mine. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get it at like Home Depot or um, maybe even Walmart and stuff in their hardware departments. So um, anyways, ask around for it if you're not sure. I think you can also get some wider. I'm trying to get, find some wider ones um, as well because I, I have some other ideas for that. So anyways, you're going to need that and just some cardstock. And for this project, I'm just going to use some black cardstock. And then an embossing folder of your choice. I'm going to use this one here um, that I used in the project. It's the Tim Holtz um, Regal Flourish um, Flourishes die. So, and it comes in a pack like this. I got it from Becca. Thank you so much. She gave it to me in a swap a while ago. So, I'm going to be using that one, you guys. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is... Um, I usually would cover this whole thing with the tape and then um, cut what I need. But I'm just going to do it this way just because I'm going to, you know, just for the tutorial's sake. So I'm just going to kind of get an idea of whereabouts I want. So I'm just trimming it to size of my um, embossing folder. All right. Oh my goodness, we have some sun coming through the window. It's been a rainy, rainy weekend. So um, I'm also going to use a bone folder to really um, seal down the edges of the... Um, of the foil tape. So what I do is I just sort of get an idea of how long I want the strips. And I probably need three to cover this. So I'm just going to make three strips. Now this does, um, it's extremely sticky. Okay you guys, so you want to try and make sure you get it in the right place the first time because there is no lifting this off without destroying it. So all I do is I just, it's okay if there's some wrinkles because I'm going to flatten it all out after, but I pretty much just go like this and put it onto my cardstock. Then I take my bone folder and I just smooth it out nicely and for the most part it is nice and smooth. It's going to get embossed and all grunged up anyway so I'm not worried if it's not like perfect. And this is, I mean, you guys don't have to use embossing that. Like, this is also how I made my metallic roses. I just put it on cardstock, and then I just use my punch. So you can punch out your shapes. Um, you can do whatever you want. Use this through the die cutting machine. Um, I'm actually going to be using my pine cone die with this um, after I emboss it. And I'm going to try and get an embossed um, pine, pine, like a flower using the pine cone die from Tim Holtz. So... I might just slip in a photo of that after this tutorial to show you guys what I ended up doing. So what I did here was just try to get it nice and lined up so that um, there's no space. Like you don't want any space in between. You don't want the cardstock showing. So you just want to try and get it as close as you possibly can. Okay. And I'm just going to take my last piece. So what I'm going to do is just trim off the edges now. So any excess tape that's hanging over the edge. These are great, the non-stick scissors. It's going to stick to it anyway, but it's easy to peel off the tape afterwards. And now you're just going to run it through your cuddle bug, your big shot, whatever die cutting machine, embossing machine you have. I've got my big shot here and I'm just going to put it on the embossing um, folder setting. Okay, so it's just it's going to be sitting down on tab one here. So I'm going to put it there. Then you just take your foil cardstock piece and put it in the embossing folder and this is the raised edge here so it's going to be impressing it downward then you're just going to sandwich it between your plates and then just run it through and 
then you've got what looks like this. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this machine here now and we're going to put some acrylic paint on it. So I'm just going to use some black um, acrylic paint. This is just some from my dollar store. I'm just going to squeeze some on there and I'm just going to use a paintbrush because I find the paintbrush really gets inside the grooves. Okay, so you really want to get inside the grooves. <clears throat> You, that's what you want to be left behind after you wipe off the excess. Okay. I'm just going to take my heat tool here and just heat set it slightly. Or you can let it air dry a little bit. Have some paper towel ready, okay? Just going to heat set it for just a few seconds. take my paper towel and just give it a good wipe. Not too hard because you don't want to wipe away that acrylic paint that's inside the grooves. If some wipes away that's fine but you want to for the most part the look that I'm going for here is to keep some of that in there okay. Now I'm just gonna let that dry slightly and I'm going to wipe up my mess. Okay, so I'm going to heat set this now because I really want the um, acrylic paint that's inside the grooves to dry before I touch it again. Now, if you want, you can also use um, multi-tones of like metallic paint if you want to change it out with alcohol ink. Um, other acrylic paints, metallic acrylic paints to get like multi-tone, like rustic looking if you're going for more of a bronzy kind of a color. You can also do that as well. Um, alcohol ink, if you rub it over top, will alter the met metal um, portion of it because it's non-porous. So the alcohol ink will really take to it. Um, and then you can also add other colors. You could just totally play with your paints to get the color that you want. It's so much fun. So now if you look at closely, there's some streaks and whatnot of the um, black acrylic paint. All I'm going to do is take um, a piece of this, bunch it up, and just get rid of some in some spots just because I like to, um, I just liked the look of it that I had last time. It just sort of made it kind of streaky looking. can kind of see where some of the streaks are left behind, right? So anyways, you guys, that is the basic way that I had created the faux metallic look on the trunk and also for the altered box that I made um, previously. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to create a flower, okay? So first I'm going to wipe off my hands. <laughs> So I'm going to be using the pine cone die from Tim Holtz. I recently won this in um, a card competition from my LSS. I won a gift certificate. So this is one of the things I purchased and I just love it, you guys. So it comes with obviously the die for the branch and then the pine cone, which you can make into a flower. So that's what I'm going to do quickly with this. So I'm just going to speed this part up. I'm just simply putting it through my uh, big shot. Then I'm just going to grab the um, die cut here and get my tweezers and just grab the end of the spiral the flower here, or the pine cone really, roll it all up nice and tightly. And then I'm going to remove my tweezers, uncoil it, grab my round nose needle pliers and just um, take each petal and just um, roll it downward. And I'm just going to do that all the way around the entire flower. Then after I'm done, I'm just going to grab my tweezers again, roll it up loosely, and then um, you have what looks like the flower already. You put down some glue while it's still hot, just to kind of fiddle around with it until you get the look that you're going for. And then that's it, you guys. And so here's some pictures of the completed flower. I hope you enjoyed the overall tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.